Are you interested in the number of lives lost to the road accidents and the number of injured persons as well as families who have become destitute as a result of such accidents caused by the infractions of people like the person of interest to you? That's a deep one. That one is a deep one. So Vomahor is driving anyhow. It's going to injure somebody. It's going to kill somebody. Somebody is going to lose a father. Maybe a poor father because he's standing by the road selling or something. Vomaho is going to crash into him. He's going to die. His children can no longer go to school. They probably have not reached the age of free SHS yet. They are in JSS, so it has to be paid. They cannot pay their money. They cannot access free SHS. They become destitute. These are the consequences of Vomaho driving anyhow. Is the High Commissioner saying that? That's a very, very important question that Amparo is asking here. That yes, you may be interested in Vomaho because the human rights activist, as you see it. However, there are other people whose rights to live the very right to live is being threatened by his recklessness. And you send a tweet that we should leave him alone because he's a human rights activist? The people whose lives are being threatened because he's reckless on the road and he's been arrested and he, he's arrested and he quickly goes on Facebook, ah, I've been arrested. What about the lives of the people that you were threatening? Your recklessness is taking somebody's life out. Somebody's going to die. His child is not going to become a whore like you and speak English and rights fix the country. That child is nine years old. His father has died because of your recklessness. He can't even finish JSS. He will end up, if he doesn't have football skill to play for Asante Kotoko, has a focus and get to the Black Stars, the guy's life is finished. In a country like Ghana, is gone. Your recklessness, and we should protect you because you can write on Facebook, you have Omaha, you can write on Facebook and say, I've been arrested, and because you've been arrested, some big people can come and talk. We don't want to build a society like that. We want a society that protects the vulnerable. That's why I support free SHS to the hills, because it protects the vulnerable. That's the point. We want to protect the vulnerable. In Britain, they have council flats. They, they protect the vulnerable. If you are 18 and you don't have a job, they'll give you dough. You can get some money as you look for a job. They protect the vulnerable. We want to build our society to the level where we can protect the vulnerable. That is why they will arrest the prime minister's wife. If she's violating something, paying for her train ticket, that will give other people taxpayers' money and can invest in the community so that the vulnerable are protected. Vomaho should drive recklessly and kill people. And when he's arrested, it's a problem because he's a human rights activist. The very lives of human beings is being threatened by his reckless behavior on the road. And you expect the police to look at it and say, hey, that's Vomaho, don't touch him. No, IGP Dampire is not going to stand for that. He's not going to stand for that. That's the question he's asking here. That yes, you may be interested in Vomaho because a human rights activist. Fair enough. But are you also interested in the people whose his recklessness is going to take out? When I get arrested by the police, I submit myself to the process. I regret that I have done what I have done and I go through the process. The police will always tell you, you don't do that anymore. Now they are beginning to do the thing they do in Britain. They'll take your license and put a stamp in it. And then you cannot drive anymore. They are beginning to implement that. The road safety people are doing that. Because we also want to build a society like Britain. So we don't want Vomaho because he's a human rights activist and he can say, fix the country and he can go to court and scream at the judge so he can drive recklessly and kill people. We don't want that. We can't have that. It's not good to do that. And that's a good question. It's the High Commissioner. And look at how much money Britain pays to Ghana for the protection of the vulnerable. Britain pays to Ghana in education. Britain gives Ghana money for health. They give Ghana money for all sorts of things. She represents that British taxpayer here. Is that the way to represent the British taxpayer to tell us that to be suspicious about the arrest of somebody who has conducted reckless driving when you can really get the information as a British High Commission, you can get any information. You can call the police. In fact, they have defense attache right there. And as a defense attache, can you ask IGP Dan Paris office to furnish us with what happened yesterday over the arrest of the human rights? And we want to be sure that the guy has done something wrong. We don't want to think that the guy is being victimized. You can tell that internally and the information will come to you. But if you go on Twitter and do a public tweet and somebody is sitting in California a history professor is sitting in California and he's doing some analysis and he sees the tweet. He says, oh, there's a problem in Ghana. We think that Ghana is degenerating in human rights. He says, why? He said, oh, British Commissioner just tweeted. The guy who is fighting for human rights, they arrested him for some traffic offense or something. He was on his way to court. That's what happens. California has seen it. Los Angeles has seen it. Japan has seen it. Britain has seen it. Holland has seen it. South Africa has seen it. That's what a tweet does. That's why we have Twitter. That's why it's 44 billion. Because it is very powerful. And it is even more powerful when powerful people like the British High Commissioner in Ghana is writing on Twitter and making allegations with the colorization of the tweet. 
And that's why Dampra is asking her, three days after your tweet, do you still stand by it? Do you think that really we shouldn't arrest people? And you talk about he's been arrested again. As if we are just arresting for my oil, I guess arresting him. And that's, that's, I'll say something at the end of this. Let's move on. Yes.